Yeah, hi guys. So look at this question here. This question says that the amount paid by Ravi to buy some mangoes and pineapples was in the ratio three is to five. While for Sachin, this ratio was two is to nine. Rate in rupees per unit uh, per fruit for Ravi was more than that for Sachin. Okay. For both mangoes and pineapples, Sachin paid rupees ninety for all pineapples. While in exactly while which is exactly the same amount that Ravi paid for all pineapples. If rate uh, in rupees per fruit for each fruit was in desert. And Ravi bought two mangoes more than Sachin. By what amount was Sachin's rate per unit for mangoes lower than that of Ravi's rate per unit? Okay. So here it says that the uh, uh, the information here is the rate uh, for Sachin. Uh, sorry, the rate for Ravi was more than that of Sachin, right? So I'll keep this point in mind here. Okay. The rest is uh, first part is quite easy. You can simply convert that. Uh, I, if I say that Ravi has bought mangoes and apples, okay. So if Ravi has bought mangoes and uh, certain pineapples in the ratio, it says that three is to five, okay. And Sachin has bought it in the ratio two is to nine. So Sachin has bought this in the ratio two is to nine mangoes and pineapples. This ratio is two is to nine. Okay. So once this ratio is two is to nine, so I know that. Uh, Sachin paid rupees ninety for all pineapples. So if this nine is equal to ninety, that means the value of one unit of ratio is ten rupees. That means two will become rupees twenty. Okay, this is rupees twenty and rupees ninety. Correct. And such and which is exactly the same amount that Ravi paid for all pineapples. So for Ravi has Ravi paid a uh, five units for pineapple. That five is again equal to ninety. That means the value of one unit of ratio is rupees eighteen for Ravi. Okay. That means three will be equal to what rupees fifty four. We got the price here, right? Now obviously, uh, if the rate for each fruit was integer, it is written the rate for each fruit was integer, and Ravi bought two mangoes more than Sachin. Okay, so now that basically that basically means that if I if I uh, uh, if I make this uh, equation here, okay, so basically this twenty will comprise of, देखो ये twenty now this will be what rupees. Uh, This twenty. So let's say rupees uh, R is the rate. Fine. So let's say rupees R is the rate, and the oranges bought are n minus two, because let's say uh, Ravi has bought n oranges. So R is the rate for sorry mangoes here. So R is the rate for mangoes and n mangoes he has bought. So R into n here is fifty four. Correct, right? So square rupees fifty four for total mangoes. So let's say rupees R is the rate for mangoes. And he has bought n mangoes. So R into n is fifty four. And again, R is rate for mangoes. And this Sachin has bought. Uh, Ravi had bought two mangoes more than Sachin. That means if Ravi has bought n, then Sachin has bought n minus two here. Okay. So R into n minus two will be equal to twenty. These are two equations here, right? So and you just need to see here that uh, which which uh, which factor will have this as integer, right? Obviously, twenty is a smaller number. Or uh, maybe uh, having lesser lesser number of Factors also you can start off with twenty. Let's say for example the first case will be a uh, twenty into one. If I take the case of twenty into one, that means n minus two is equal to one. If this case is to be true, then n minus uh, sorry n minus two is equal to one. In that case n will be three. If n will be three, then r will be eighteen. This goes uh, this case goes fine for me now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, fine. Now, to twenty, it can be the rate of one mango, right? Okay. Now, let's say that. Uh, let's put here eighteen, right? Okay. So, twenty uh, into let's put ten into two here. Fine. So, if n minus two is two, in that case, n will be four. If n is equal to four, then the rate will be fifty-four by four, which is thirteen point five, which is not possible because. Uh, the fruits rate has to be in integers, right? It is not possible actually. Fine, in this case is not possible. Okay. Now, uh, moving forward, again, one factor is five into four also. Correct. One factor is five into four, right? Now, if you put five into four here, so now n minus two is equal to four. In that case, n will be six. Okay. And uh, if n is six, then r is nine. So nine into six is fifty-four. This is again correct, right? This again case looks fine. But all values I got as integer. Okay, so that means this is fifty four and this is ninety. So R, okay, I can just put here R one R two actually because R are not same. No, you'll get confused. Let's put R one and R two. So R one is rate for mango for uh, Ravi. Uh, 
पर मैंगो एंड आर टू इज रेट रेट फॉर पर मैंगो फॉर सच एंड राइट सो क्वेश्चन इज बाई वॉट अमाउंट वॉज सच इन रेट पर यूनिट फॉर मैंगोज लोअर देन दैट रविस रेट पर यूनिट राइट एंड इट्स गिवेन दैट द रेट द इट्स गिवेन दैट रेट फॉर रवि वॉज मोर देन दैट ऑफ सच इन फॉर बोथ मैंगो एंड पैनापल्स राइट दैट मीन बेसिकली इफ इफ आई दिस टू केस इज वैल इन वैल्यू इंडियर राइट ओके सो फॉर दिस इज दिस केस इज ऑल्सो वैलिड बट हियर द रेट इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज फॉर वन मैंगो ओके एंड हियर द रेट इज एटीन रुपीज फॉर थ्री मैंगोज राइट इफ एटीन रुपीज फॉर थ्री मैंगोज एक्चुअली मीन्स मीन्स ओके सिक्स रुपीज फॉर वन मैंगो सो एटीन रुपीज फॉर थ्री मैंगोज एक्चुअली मीन्स सिक्स रुपीज फॉर वन मैंगो ओके सो सिक्स रुपीज फॉर वन मैंगो एंड हियर द कॉस्ट इज ट्वेंटी फॉर वन मैंगो सो इट्स गिवेन दैट रवीज रेट वॉज मोर देन सच इन हाँ that means the first case can be discarded right because here the rate is 20 rupees for one mango here it is 18 rupees for one mango correct so now only this case is valid now so what is the case here so we, here we have uh, he, he bought nine mangoes uh, nine into six is 54 right so he has got a rate is 9 rupees per mango and n is 6 here okay and n uh, and uh, number of mangoes here is 4 and rate is 5 rupees per mango okay so 5 rupees uh, per mango and 9 rupees per mango okay i made one mistake here right small mistake i made here okay this is actually rate only no okay so here the rate is 20 rupees for one mango and it is it is rupees 8 18 rupees for 3 uh, 18 into 3 right the rate here is 18 3 mango okay Okay, so what is? Uh, let's observe the first case here. The first case says that the, here the rate is rupees eighteen per mango, and here the rate is rupees twenty per mango. So now, for for it's given that the rate for Ravi was more than that for Sachin for both mango and pineapples. So for Ravi the rate is rupees eighteen, and for Sachin the rate is rupees twenty, which is contracting rate, uh, contracting this right because Ravi's rate for mango should be more than Sachin. So this case is not satisfied. That's why. first case will be discarded okay so now i am left with only this case here here the rate is rupees 9 per mango and here the rate is rupees 5 per mango okay all satisfied right so the difference of question was by what amount the rate for sachin is lower than that of ravi answer is rupees 4 so rupees 4 is the difference that is the answer so hope you got this right so basically a, a bit of tricky situation in the end because you need to check for the integers also and uh, parallelly both the values for integers should satisfy because here the rate is n minus 2 and n okay so if n minus 2 is 1 then i need to check for at what value of n both will be integer so when n minus 2 is 1 that means when ravi has bought one mangoes uh, in that case n will be 3 here because he had, it has bought uh, ravi has bought two mangoes more than sachin so when sachin bought one mango ravi bought three mangoes here okay 1 2 3 like that okay okay hope you got this right okay Okay, and also guys. So again, at an academy, this uh, live class series continues, and uh, this is a, a course I am taking for LRDI. Uh, it's a course of five hundred plus sets. Uh, we are solving live. Okay, so a lot of topics we are solving there, like quant based puzzles. Okay, so few puzzles I have uploaded in YouTube channels also, and I can see on Roda quant based puzzles. Then we are doing uh, maximum minima, chocolate distributions. uh then wind diagram four five six parameters okay then uh, we are also doing um, uh this uh, all the uh, puzzles like four parameters five parameters puzzles three parameters okay so four three five parameters puzzles then uh, matrix based puzzles okay then roots and networks then binary logic okay uh then uh, this game sand tournament side right? so we quite heavy it is heavily loaded Okay, lots of sets on DI also. So we have solved this five hundred plus sets. So in that regard, uh, this LR this three point zero, so this LRDA uh, in that that I am starting LRDA right now. So this LRDA part three course it is there. Okay, so in this part three course, uh, again we will be continuing this and uh, also uh, one quant batch started in the morning. Uh, that started from P and C actually at Tuesday and Thursday seven and seven uh, a.m. to nine a.m. Okay. 
and in night uh, in night batch for quant i have already finished algebra and geometry all the recordings are available in fact in at an academy all the previous years recordings are also available last year class classes i have taken so any of you one uh, any of you wish to join this you can use ravi rodha uh, my referral discount code you can join this and you can have access to all the recordings of last year if you want to attend live classes clear your doubts you can attend the live classes this year i am taking okay so multiple options are there if you wish to and then uh, uh, i am also taking the classes at youtube also i am uploading videos here and plus those who are not joining any coaching they can follow this uh, anikad that rodha classes at youtube plus that my special classes at anikadmi okay so those free classes that special classes anikadmi in those i have solved around more than uh, 1780 plus lrdi sets and roughly uh, i think 600 plus quant questions and these are high quality questions right where these are mostly practice sessions okay so just should uh, this is absolutely free you can or you should make use of this actually okay thank you